All right, Daddy Jack's going with the blues. We're back. So you're gonna have to. I'm gonna show you how to make a house balsamic vinaigrette. So we got to you have to refer to the mayonnaise recipe. So we're gonna force you to do a little homework. But here we go. So I'm gonna put a little balsamic vinegar. Hence the name balsamic vinaigrette. A little bit of red wine vinegar. Regina is the best. Do a little Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire. Black pepper, thank you, Steve. A little bit extra black pepper. A little bit of granulated garlic. Plus, we got a little bit of a, uh, fresh garlic in. No more red wine. Uh, let's give it a taste. Good try with this, it's real good. Start out with about two tablespoons of peace. Okay. And uh, usually, if I have a little bit of a uh, tarragon, I'll put it in. Have a little bit of thyme. Put a little bit of thyme in there. We got the thyme to put the thyme in. There we go. favorite is over some big lettuce or radicchio or some Belgian endive. Be careful with that romaine these days. That's what they say. We threw out a whole case. But anyway, this is it. Our house balsamic vinaigrette. All right, Dang Jack's go with the blues. So today we made homemade mayonnaise. So you gotta go back and watch that one. Then out of that we made some balsamic vinaigrette. That's what I have right here. Our house vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette. And I just wanted to show how to utilize your homemade mayonnaise. So now we're going to turn this into our Caesar dressing. So we have some. You could you could take you could take your anchovies, Steve. Chopped them up for me. That's, thank you. But you could you could grind them up in a food processor with your garlic and your red wine vinegar. So put the anchovies in. Parmesan. Just a little bit more. A little more Dijon, a little more lemon juice. What else, Steve? That should be it. Season. Yeah. Yeah. What's the trick? I could use a little bit more. I have lemon. Look at that. How simple is that? A little extra Worcestershire, because we want to bump up the flavor of the balsamic and the, uh, we got to step up. I'm going to put just a little bit more oil. Let's tighten this up a little bit. You know what? More fresh garlic. Garlic, lemon. Let's 
give it a taste. That's it. Simple. Simple as it goes right there. Homemade Caesar dressing. Okay, so we're just going to toss one together real quick. It's always important to uh, toss it last minute. So you don't wilt out the lettuce. A little more Parmesan. Try not to overdress it. If you look at our garlic bread recipe, right, Glenn? Make right. a little garlic bread on the side, and you almost got dinner. Nice light dinner. Bottle of vino. Okay, Ben. My main man, Ben, right here. Come on in, Ben. See what you think, man. Homemade, homemade Caesar dressing. This is Ben. What up? You've been with us uh, quite a few years now. Oh yeah. Hard working, hard working individual right here. Tell us what you think, Ben. This is a mix of uh, baby lettuces we're using. Does it turn romaine off the market for a little bit? It holds up real nice. Right, Ben? Oh yeah. Like it? Really good. Take some home to your mom. Oh, yeah. So much better than you would eat if you buy in a grocery store, right, man? Oh, yeah. Mm. Good here. I gotta wrap <laughs> my stuff on the back now. Come <laughs> on. The ball. Balsamic vinaigrette before. We want to keep on the mellower side. We want to pick up the lemon, the garlic, the anchovy, and the Worcestershire. Pick the flavors up because then you have to counterbalance the blandness of the lettuce. So that's why we stepped it up a little bit. What's Daddy? Daddy Jack's going with the blues. My friend Ben. DJ, what? What's your handle? Ben Cannon. Ben Cannon. Heck of a DJ. Oh, yeah. Love <laughs> music. Taking off. His DJ and gigs are taking off. Oh yeah. But he's Hopefully working. I want to do one here. Oh yeah, anytime you're ready. Yeah. Alright. Thank you guys go with the blues here, 181 Bank Street. Button up the camera. Can't thank you enough for all the videos you're doing for us. Peace.